And I'm Bethany. And we are from Club Sapphire. And this is kind of an exciting evening. We actually had uh, a video that we made last time that was about a bunch of questions that people had sent to us. And there were so many. We didn't <laughs> even get to, what, we answered three maybe. Something like that. And because of oh. that and, and all the positive feedback that we've received, we decided we'd, just, we'd do that again to just kind of get through that because it seems that they're actually helping a lot of people come up with questions that they haven't necessarily seen somewhere or they haven't seen us talk about uh, or haven't read anywhere on the internet and so if we can help that's that's something to do so definitely if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to ask us or talk about or ask Bethany because she's just fascinating to talk to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, definitely put it in the comments below and we'll We'll get to them in the future. No matter what, we'll, no matter what topics we'll talk about, maybe we'll actually just answer a question or two at the end or something like that. We'll see. We'll see. So, I'm an open the, book. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, both, we're both open books. We're both open books, which is I think why people really like these videos is because uh, you feel free to ask us anything. Some questions are going to be just generally they just want to know about your sex life because that's hot. It uh, <laughs> doesn't actually answer any questions about sex the lifestyle. Life is very hot. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I, I figure that they can ask that and you'll answer yeah. that. So, so. Yeah, okay. I'll answer it. All right, you ready for the first one? Yes. All right. Oh, this is a good one. All right. Well, this is a good general con uh, conversation. How do you keep jealousy in check? So jealousy is one of those things that is probably the biggest problem that couples. everybody gets jealous I no matter where you are in your relationships I mean people do get jealous mm -hmm. I, I know jealousy is not something that I deal with most of the time but it still happens right uh, and and to me keeping it in check I actually just had this question tonight by somebody okay. um, it, it, it's a matter of I know where my I, I know my responsibility to to myself and to my relationships and I know if I'm feeling jealous, like that that ugly, ugly monster, if that's coming up, like there's something internal that's going on. Um, and I have to question myself. I, I ask myself a lot of questions as far as like what what is it that is making me feel jealous specifically? Okay. Like I have to I have to really narrow it down to specifics because I mean overall generally it's like no it's not an issue. So sure. uh, I think um, as long as you are introspective uh, and, and really own your own emotions. Well, I found that jealousy is, is something that really needs to be discussed because early on in the lifestyle, as you are first entering it, you that is something that you are going to be concerned about. Uh, is is this from a guy's perspective? Is this um, is this other guy who's coming in going to be better than me? Uh, is he going to be more attractive than me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we found early on that actually that those were the good things. Mm -hmm. It's like if, if, if I was with Bianca and we met another couple and the guy ended up being like really good at something, like, like he made her orgasm better than I ever could by doing something with his mouth. For example, uh, it's a learning experience. It's, well, that well, that's where I was going with that. In the, at first, you know, I'm gonna first of all high five because that's awesome. Uh, she's gonna be very, very happy about that uh, that she got a new experience that was really, really good for her. But then I'm also gonna be talking to her, saying, "Hey, what what did he do? What is what what did he do that I can learn?" Because so what you're saying is keeping the line of communication completely well, communi open between between the two. I mean, communication is definitely for well, communi any lifestyle is. Well, for any any relationship, communication is yeah. key. But in the lifestyle, it's really, really important because jealousy can can kind of if you don't communicate, it can kind of back up. It can back up inside of you, and then it end up blowing up, and could be a problem as far as your marriage is concerned, uh, or as far as just you being a couple. So you have to say, hey, you know, I, I you know, I, I felt very jealous last night when we, you were doing this thing with this other guy or girl or whatever. Well, it might I want to stop you right there because it's not a matter of when. I, I feel like you can't blame the other person okay. like when you were doing this. I mean, I, I feel. I, I don't know. I, th I feel like what you just said as far mm -hmm. as 
I felt really jealous when you were doing this. I mean, that immediately when you when you put it on somebody else, mm -hmm. when you were doing this, pointing the fingers it makes people automatically defensive. Okay. Um, and so, as a matter of not making somebody defensive and being being thoughtful and choosing your words wisely, as a matter, of, I felt jealous because this happened. Okay. And this is why I feel jealous. So say, like, if a person was like, okay, they, because your partner, maybe they went, they went back and, um, they were giving a guy a blowjob. Okay. All right. For example. Sure. Um. Always you, a good example. <laughs> you would, you would, I think that if, if that's something that ended up making you jealous, it, it's like, you know, um, I, instead of saying, because you did this and said, say, I would have preferred uh -huh. for you to do, or for for this to have happened. Okay. Um, for for us to be checking in with each other and making sure that it was okay. Mm -hmm. Um, instead of instead of pointing fingers or placing the blame on somebody. Sure. That's I think, in general, a, a way to make sure that you're mm -hmm. you're openly communicating and not having somebody get on the defensive. Right, right. And 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 like what I was saying as far as turning that jealousy into something positive is 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 great because I've found that well, for example, like I'm so much better at sex than I was coming into the lifestyle. Okay. Just practice makes perfect and so many things that I've learned from other people doing things to Bianca or to you or to someone else that, that I'm just going to be like, oh, yeah, let me write that down because I want to do that. One, one great example that comes off the top of my head is uh, uh, someone was very good at um, uh, giving her an orgasm. At, at the same time that they were eating her or giving her oral, they were also tickling her feet, like the bottom of her feet. Oh yeah, you've tried that on me. It doesn't work. Doesn't work on you, but I, but 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 it does work on a lot of people, <laughs> because it like there's a sensitivity thing that happens right then, yeah. uh, and uh, and like and I some so so she had done that to me afterward, and I'm like, holy shit, what is this? <laughs> this no one's done that before, um, and and it was, but I didn't get upset because that was someone was doing something that was better than I could. Uh, I took it as a learning experience and. And uh, and turn it into something that was kind of awesome there. So yeah. so yeah, jealousy is just it's it's something that comes up with everyone, uh, and you tend to as long as you communicate with your spouse or significant other when you have those feelings, then you can move past them, and then the lifestyle becomes a really awesome hobby, uh, which is which is is such a such a great way to describe it. Where it's it's you well, and it's a growing experience for the two two people involved. I mean, I feel like every partner that I've been with, including you, mm -hmm. you know, it's as I have sex with more and more people, I grow closer and closer to the person that I am in a relationship with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Why do you suppose I that is? I have these other experiences to share with you, and, okay. uh, and I'm excited to, to share them with you, and you know, that excitement from from those other, uh, other experiences I kind of bring into the bedroom with me because it spills over into my relationship with, with, with mm. you. Okay. Yeah, so I'm already horny thinking about it. Well, that's good. So if I came up to you and, and, and we were with another couple, for example, and the next day I came up to you and said, you know, I, I, it wasn't that great of experience. I feel really bad like you ignored me, mm -hmm. um, which is a common complaint yeah. uh, that people have, uh, that I felt like I was just kind of set on the side and, and I was just there watching and you were having this great time with this guy and I was totally ignored. What should we do about that? Well, um, for me, if, if you came up to me and told me that, mm -hmm. I, I would say, I, you know, I I would apologize for for that because I mean, there's something I can I can do about it to make it better, and I would I would let you know that you know you know going forward we will check in a little bit more and mm -hmm. uh, and make sure that we are a united team right. in in that so that you're not feeling that way. Mm -hmm. and it's you know, for me, it's a learning experience as well. Sure. And actually, it's interesting that you brought up the point of checking in because uh, that is something, especially early on, uh, when you, if you're doing same room 
play type of thing that you know in your especially in your first experiences when you don't know how comfortable the spouse is going to be is jealousy going to rear its head that type of thing that you are checking in hey honey are you all right everything everything good all right you know she gives you the thumbs up as her head bobbing is happening or whatever well, yeah and, and you, you know, generally know your partner too i mean like even today when when you came in i can see you were kind of stressed out mm-hmm, checking sure. in with you and and such and he's just like you, you know how your partner how they how they act and sure. how they react so. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, just be, a, 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 just be a you know, um, what's the word for it? Uh... Word for what? <laughs> I can't help you. Aware. Gonna... Just be aware. Just, just be aware. Just yeah, because you know that's something that you know awareness and, and paying attention to the cues of your significant other is really really important, especially at clubs. Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm a, I'm as, as bad as anybody else as far as this, this is the type of thing has come up with Bianca and myself. Like we'd be at a club like Sapphire or somewhere else, and uh, early on, and I would be like looking around, going, "Ooh, who can, who, who's, who's someone I want to talk to? Ooh, she's attractive, that type of thing." And I would be completely ignoring her, and and because I was just so excited about all this other stuff that was going on, and that would actually make her feel bad. Uh, and then I think it happened other way around at some point and all that. And it was, so it was, it was the learning experience of really being aware about everything that's going on specifically to make sure that your other half is comfortable with the whole situation, because if they not, then you're going to have a bad time. So, and you don't want to, if wanna, they not, if they not, if they're, if they're, <laughs> not, if they're not happy, yeah, I mean, I, have I been, how much one of this, Do you how much of this, wine? yeah, I can't even talk. I'm, you're, you're hot. Sorry, I, you're very distracting to me. Um, all right, um, all right. You wanna you wanna pick one at random? Sure. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you gonna ha- you're gonna have me pick? Maybe next time I should have you pick. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there's one hidden in there. I'm gonna take that one. What are your thoughts on swinger dating sites? Any you'd recommend? Mm, swinger dating sites. Okay. Are you on any swinger dating sites? I'm not. You're not. So, but you. you I mean, I'm on the Club Sapphire site. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So. The, the, like the Facebook page and all that kind yeah. of stuff. All uh, right. On the Facebook page, yes. Well, you know, it's interesting because the the swinger dating world has changed dramatically over the last couple of years. Actually, every couple of years it goes through a through a, an evolution, mm-hmm. where even even six years ago. When I joined the lifestyle, it was it was very different. Where that was the place that you met people was was on the SLS, SDC, Cassidy, which are all really awesome sites if you're in the United States. Um, and uh, but that was the only way to do it. And but now you have like Facebook groups. Well, it's interesting and, because and it's almost it's almost changed over now to where Facebook is actually the place. We met on Facebook, people. by the way. We met on Facebook. That's right, in a, in a group, in a group, in a and Facebook it's group, yeah. yeah, and 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 that's how so many people that we talk to now are meeting each other are like in the the either the Sapphire secret group uh, or just some other swinger group because there's like hundreds of them on the on on Facebook, and so people are creating like a a, a couple's profile, mm-hmm. like. Like ours is Matt and, and Bianca. Bianca. Yeah, the yeah. little N, you know, type of thing. And at some point they might be like, you're not a real person. You're not supposed to do that. But so far, so good. They haven't complained. Um, and of course, but you can't have nudity on those, on their Facebook pages. Oh, they've so. been really cracking down on nudity recently. Yeah, yeah. So, so there, is, there is that thing that's, that's but bad. But you know. There's ways around it. You know, just little emojis <laughs> on, on the things, on the bits. But you don't, you don't, you, you don't really need nudity anyway no. from, from the perspective of dating on the lifestyle. If, if, if I if if we meet we see a couple and we're like oh that is an attractive couple we want we want to talk to them see where this goes the nudity is oh, I mean that's kind of the excitement is eventually getting them naked you know unless unless your your thing was like I only date guys with seven inch plus penises so no. whip it out because that's what I want to look at you know type of thing which I mean, is no. there are there are nice, people like it's that it's nice to know ahead of time but at the same time it's not necessary <laughs> yeah and yeah exactly uh, but I mean if that was your like that was your rule it's like no because I have met women like that that are just like big penises that's it that's it nothing nothing. Well, then you would meet the criteria. I, I, yes, I, yes, I would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but, so they have that criteria. So I can see in situations like that where nudity would be like, okay, I really want to see you naked before we meet. But other than that, it's not that necessary. I, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, it, you can get body type, you can get face, you know, that type of thing if, if they're... But online, I mean, people's presence online, there's angles. Like the whole, you know, when MySpace is a thing, it's like MySpace angles. 
Well, oh, where you take it's the like, camera at a specific angle and you look more attractive than you are and that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, well, those types of things happen. And also there are factors on the lifestyle sites where people are uh, either dishonest, like they're showing a picture from 10 years ago, uh, or mm -hmm. they don't. The real common one is that they won't show what the guys look like. Like they'll show specifically the wife and then they'll also show like uh, the um, uh, they'll show maybe that or they won't even show that the guy exists. Like they'll be like, yeah, it's a, it's a couple. And uh, um, but you can't see what he looks like because of his privacy issues or whatever. And that's really, really important is to actually have pictures of both of you. And well, you bring up privacy. I mean, when it comes to lifestyle, I I notice that there are a lot of people that do extremely value their privacy. Sure. I mean, as far as their professional life, I mean, it, it could be something that's detrimental to their job. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. And so, so there is, you know, you don't really get that on in the Facebook groups, but at least on the the lifestyle websites, the dating sites, there are levels of privacy that you can have, whether. Uh, for example, on uh, uh, SLS, for example, well, on all of them, they, they usually have uh, public pictures which might not have any faces at all, mm -hmm. which is fine because you, you, you don't want to ruin your job, that type of thing. But usually you can kind of have a secondary locked photo, for example, that if you tar start talking to somebody, then you can open that up for them so that they can see what you actually look like before you meet. And that type of thing is really important because, honestly, physical attraction is is first. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a thing. It, it's first before a lot of a lot of other things come into play as well. Yeah. So, so uh, but yeah, there's a lot of websites out there, uh, and it, well, depending. That's also why I like coming to the club. I mean, you can kind of feel people out. You get the you get their actual real physical presence. Mm -hmm. right yeah. There. Yeah. Personally, I like the club scene better than anything. Whether you know people are like, oh, I only want to go to house parties, or I'm new and I'm an introvert, so that's the way to do it. But honestly, clubs are the I I have really found are the best way to meet people because it's such a social environment and places like Sapphire are so fr like everyone's so friendly that you can just go talk to any random person or couple and have a great conversation whether you're going to play with them or not you're just going to have a really good time that way mm -hmm. all right all right you ready for another one i am but actually this time you're going to choose it oh i'm going to choose it all right okay hold on let me mix this up for you all right all right okay Come on, let me let me fan them out for you Okay. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> have you ever found the other? So, have you ever found the other partner more attractive than your significant other? And so, well, that's one of those questions that really comes up as far as jealousy, as far as what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, that it's it's one of those things that yes, it can happen. And, and well, attraction is, is it's finicky because you can be you can be attracted to somebody physically um, based off of their looks, but you can also be mentally attracted to somebody, mm -hmm. um, which each person is, right. it's theirs to determine. So, yeah. So yes, I mean, there's attraction, but it, each person is so different, and and your attraction to them based off of I mean, it, it's kind of a little bit. Of, in my opinion, unfair to base it off of some uh, off of your attraction to some to your current partner. Right. Well, I mean, there. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess from the perspective of if you're just dealing with looks, for example. Okay, true. Okay. Okay. You're just dealing with looks, and you, you know, uh, and okay, so you and I are together. We're at the club, and suddenly a uh, guy from uh, some supermodel walks in, some celebrity that you're like, you know. We'll talk about Channing Tatum. Channing, Channing, Channing Tatum walks in, and he's like, oh, by the way, I, I'm a swinger as well, and I want to have sex with some brunette. Is there a brunette here that will have sex with me? And <laughs> I will. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, <laughs> so, um, yes. Yeah. So in that scenario, you're having sex with someone that. Honestly, is more attractive, that physically attractive than I am. I'm not. I, I'm not going to lie. But about that's not that. a dig on you. No, it's not a dig on me. Exactly. It's it's one of those things where it's like, okay, hey, you're having some, you're having sex with someone that's more attractive. I can feel jealous. I can feel bad about that. But I'm, but I'm going to go the other direction to that and say, yeah, you got to fuck that guy. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice work there. How was he? You know, that's was why it, I like you. I mean, what? Yeah. Well, Thank yeah, you. It's, yeah. It's, <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. So, um, yeah, that's. I mean, it's not a not a bad thing in any way. And it's or if you know someone, I, I know a common problem or a common question that's similar to this one is specifically about uh, from a guy's perspective is if a guy's penis is longer. You know, well, because longer so, doesn't necessarily mean better. But a lot of guys have issue with the fact that they feel that they're, that someone else's penis, their wife, is going to like better than theirs. Because it's going to be bigger. You know, if someone has an average size penis, which average means end, most people like have she that. She chooses you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, right, right. And it's, But it's nothing to be, you know, feel bad about. I, I a great example. Um, uh, we, when Bianca and I started coming to Club Sapphire, we actually met a single guy who uh, who who has a very large penis and also has a curved penis. Okay, so that curved up thing. Oh, it's that, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, those. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the curved up. It hits the G spot just right. Exactly, exactly. And I remember thinking to myself, I was actually a little jealous of this. Now we were very early on, as far as this, this is concerned. But I remember thinking I was a bit jealous because. His penis is better than my penis because his penis can do something that I can't do. But then when it then when I thought about it and we talked about it, that it really became like, okay, so he, he was great in a certain way. I'm great in these other 15 ways. And, hey, you got to have a really kick-ass orgasm because of the shape of his penis. That's not a bad thing. You, hey, have as many orgasms as you, as you can because that's what we're here for is to have a really good time and to be open sexually. So. So that yeah, that's nothing nothing to be concerned about. <laughs> Penises are good. All right, uh, I think we got time for one more. All right, let's see. Um, well, this is a good one. All right, um, what is usually the age distribution at clubs? My partner and I are in our early twenties, and we want to see uh, we want to go, but we prefer fucking people our own age. Ooh. Um, well, I mean, you find all sorts of ages here at the club. Um, I've definitely seen plenty of people in the 20s. I'm personally in my 20s. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're in your 40s, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, there are people in their 20s and there are people in their 80s. Yeah, uh, it, and that's one of those really, really cool things about the lifestyle. It's like I, I, it, when I'm 80 and I can't do anything downstairs, I will still hope, I, I, I hope, hope I'm still coming still to places like, like this. Like yeah, well, <laughs> thank you. Because yeah, because you'll be in your sixties, so you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, I hope that even if I can't do anything downstairs at some point, that I'm still coming to a place like this that I can enjoy the atmosphere of everyone, and it's a very sexually charged atmosphere, and enjoy just the friends that I make at places like this. Because it's yeah, I well, mean, they, by that time, I think you'll know pretty much everybody. I would hope so. I would hope so. But they they really try to point out that this is you know this isn't a sex club. This is a social club. It is. And 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 I totally agree with that because yeah. it, I can come here fifty times, not have sex with anyone, but I had an amazing time because right. of just random people that I talked to. Because right. And there's been plenty so times fascinated. where I come as well. And yeah, you just you don't end up having sex with anybody, and it's fantastic. You you make connections. Like, I think that's really what it's more about mm-hmm. is making those connections because the next time you come back it's like you know somebody you're more comfortable you're willing to to do more talk to more people because you are more comfortable with that exactly exactly and it is interesting because even even when we joined all the way back five six years ago there weren't that many people in their 20s honestly mm-hmm. and now it's there's this 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 changeover it's, it's really interesting to come to a place like sapphire like on a saturday night or whatever it might be where there are actually a lot of couples in their 20s which is fascinating because early on a I, lot of hot single people in their 20s i remember talking to people that were like oh no you can't you can't swing when you're in your 20s because you haven't been married long enough that you understand, you know, all that you haven't gone through all these problems and that type of thing. And it's oh, just young true. people now are have this kind of this this almost like free love that they had like in the 1960s, where it was just kind of like sex is no big deal. Let's let's find people to have sex with. Let's share. Let's be open. People are in open relationships and polyamorous as teenagers and all this. I mean, it's 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 really really amazing that this change has kind of happened. That we are getting so many more young people coming to clubs like this but there are you know but but, but primarily it's pe- oh, like most clubs it's going to be 30s 40s are generally the the largest group but of the thing people. is okay so as a 20 something uh-huh. 
I enjoy going after or and, and having sex with the older people. Like, I know. Because, uh, <laughs> yes, obviously you do. I do. They, they know more. They are more experienced in sure. it. And, yes, they have something to teach me, mm-hmm. usually. Right. Like, I don't have to teach them. Mm-hmm. That's why I won't do puppies. You won't do puppies? Oh, puppies like an 18 year old, 20 year old or something. I won't like do that. people younger than me. Okay. Like, okay. For me, it's like as old as me or more. Sure, sure. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, I, I, actually, Bianca has a, pretty much that same rule because oftentimes they're not, they might be super hot, but they're not very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, they, just, they just think that, like, pounding, like, that is satisfactory. And, mm-hmm. and then five minutes they come, you're not, you yes, haven't, and uh, and then that's the end, and they move on, and, you know, and and you're, you're like, come like, on. Really? <laughs> yeah, really? Exactly. exactly. Um, is it? <laughs> Yeah. So there you there it's it is great though that there are all all different types, all different body types that come here. Mm-hmm. Um uh which is which is great. So because you're attracted to different things, everyone's attracted to different different types of people and like I said you're going to have a good time no matter who you talk to and of course if you just stay playing with your spouse or significant other then that's also good being in the same room as everybody else. Having sex in the in the in the, the the red room with lots and lots of other people is is always a is always a good thing. I don't think you and I have been in the red room yet. Not yet, but they're but we're both kind of wearing red this evening, so right. that that's a that's a perfect chance. If you're here, maybe you'll you'll see it. So, is there a name for for the bed that's kind of like in the beds that are right in the middle of the play area or of the you know like well, like the waiting area. room area um actually i'm pretty sure that room doesn't have a name i think that's the only room that doesn't have a name i could be wrong correct me fun. if i'm wrong this room uh actually bianca and i named the virgin room uh, because this right is in the middle no this room that we're in right here oh, well, because, because this, this is, is where the newbies come in exactly this is yeah. where they this is where they they, they do, do their the orientation talk. they do the talk but yeah i don't know if that room has a name um more than just kind of the chill out area where people just kind of relax oh well i don't chill out when i'm in bed <laughs> That's true. You don't. Uh, well, that means that I actually need to take her in the back. So I think it's actually a good time to to wrap this up. <laughs> Perfect time to wrap this up. Um, if you have anything that you'd like us to talk about in a future uh, video, or if you have any questions for us, as you see, we're open books. We'll answer anything. So if you ask a ridiculous question, we don't care. Just just do it. Just do it in the in the comments below, and uh, we'll we'll get to that in a in a future video. And, of course, check out the coming events that are happening. There's a lot of really, really great costume events that are coming on Saturdays and that type of thing. And we're getting closer to the end of the year. So you have your New Year's and your Halloween, which are big events that you always want to book as early as you can because they always will sell out. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, Check out the Facebook group uh, and join that if you're a member here because there's a lot of great ways to meet people beforehand. Oh, yes, and all of their themes on, on every day has a different theme on the Facebook group, so that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. I mean, exactly, exactly. You post on there. I do post on there. Yeah, perfect. Every so often. <laughs> awesome. All right, anything else you want to say? No, I don't think so. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate we re- appreciate that we're getting so many fans on this, on this video channel, and people are really, really liking what we're doing, and we're glad to spread the word about Sapphire because this, this place is... This, this it's is, amazing. This is, it's it, my it, second home. It's so. definitely so much fun. Yeah. Come, come to the club. Yeah, and if you see us, say hi because we're, we're super friendly people. Yes. Yeah, all right. I think so. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.